I think the way he handles his performance is very interesting. What an amazing power out of this world. It's quite a while that we reacted to some nice Filipino kids so I found something and I'm like oh why didn't you guys talk me about him right you guys know the TNT boys have been in my studio 2018 in Singapore and it was fantastic it was such a great time I visited them in Manila and I want to see what else do we have right now what are there for great talents 10 year old Peta Rosalita shook the judges with all by myself. Oh my goodness, that screams for a reaction. Let's go. That's a big song. Living alone. Okay. Okay, I have to make a stop. Oh god. His speaking voice is much more higher than his his uh, singing voice. Wow, well, suddenly he started to sing Living Alone. So he's very airy. It's very low though. I was not expecting him to have this kind of timbre. Um let's continue, let's watch it. Nobody's home. Wow, I didn't even know that the song was so low in the beginning. Okay. Okay, have to make a smaller stop because you know a lot of things get striked here on my channel at least. So what I notice is a lot of larynx work. So that's something that you have to watch out. Your larynx has to be stabilized, especially if you go for belting notes. Neutral to high larynx, that's the way you want to work. You don't want to destabilize the larynx by, you know, go down and then low and then high and low. And that all within a phrase. Oh, bye. That's where it starts. It doesn't go oh, bye. So you get that point. Overall, Many times we had children on the channel, a lot of children are still airy before they hit puberty because their vocal folds are still developing and they don't, they don't close properly as they should. Now once they get older the, and, and the vocal folds are full grown and everything is in place, then the vocal folds stay close and they can produce a clear good sound. So a lot of children will sound airy most of the time. That's not unusual though. Okay, let's continue. But a lot of power, wow. Very accurate. Okay, so I haven't seen it need to make another stop. Really, really, really fantastically, amazingly good. There's, wow. I think the way he handles his performance is very interesting. He looks very mature for his age. He's being very precise. He's very concentrated. Um, he's emotionally not really there. He's very technically much there. But he's 10 years old. There's not a lot of, thing, a lot of you can expect sometimes in terms of emotional connection, right? Because children children don't have the in-depth world. Some of them, they can grasp it and they can imitate it, but for some, they just don't have the experience, right? Uh, but Tang was in the perfect place. It was what an amazing power out of this world. What an open mouth. He was very stabilized, great riffs. So he managed to go from belting into belting mix and then have those really nice a bounces there and very nice riffs which uh, yeah right <laughs> oh, 
He's very good. Can the leak is 10. Wow, I had goosebumps. I mean, it's just incredible. This guy is 10 years old, but he's standing there like a Sinatra. He's so sophisticated, so much power. He's standing there like a small Sinatra, smashing it with his beautiful, all in white. Yeah, so I love the vibrato, which is very difficult to go from belting into vibrato. Almost, it's very difficult for grown-ups, but then for children, it's a different liga, right? Why is vibrato very difficult? But before vibrato, you have to have relaxed vocal folds, you have to monitor your breathing, you have to monitor how much pressure you have when you sing, breath pressure you have, and your larynx has to be tilted. Um, the, the vocal folds have to thin out. So there's a lot of coordination going on. And when you are in bell, your chest voice is very thick. Your vocal folds are thick and very unmovable, basically. They don't have agility. And it's very hard to go from bell into something that has agility. It takes precision, it takes time, it takes good training, get good breath work. So it's not really easy. And fantastic. You saw him moving the jaw which if I would be his voice teacher would say you have to monitor the jaw because in the end of the day it's it's a uh, it's bones and muscles and it should not be in singing uh, not as much like Ariana Grande she really works a lot with her jaw she's molding her riffs from her jaw and you have to watch out because that works once you hit 30 and 35 it's not gonna work out because it's not good for the jaw and for the jaw movement you know let me know in the comment sections. Oh my god, it's a 10 of a 10. It's a 10. It's a 100. So I would give this guy 100 points from 100. I just, I'm angry at you guys for not telling me. That's the problem. I'm angry at you guys for not telling me that this performance existed. Please write it down in the comment section. Oh my god, why are you not thinking about me? What's wrong with you? You're not telling me about this? This is so mean. I need to, uh, to show this to my students. 10 million views, you haven't... No comment section was telling me about this, why? I wanna know more of Peter. Let me know what else he got in stock there. So don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment, and then watch my playlist where I have been in Manila, or watch the playlist from Maurice and Amon and Katrine Ballard. And I'm so happy to see you in my next video.